guys, how are we all doing today? We are covering the full 334 variation, the attacking variation. It's been a while since my I can find one video which you guys loved so much on the full 333. I decided to go back to it because it's such a good attack information. Now a lot of you asked me which ones I use and which ones I use, and guys, I keep telling you I'm using the same ones. Now I test these formations for you guys so you can mix and match because these work sometimes for you and they might not work for someone else. That's why I'm here, guys. I'm here to be the ultimate tactical mastermind, and you guys just pick and choose what works for you but make sure to like and subscribe before we get into the video guys let's go for free free in fact no hold on guys hold on i can't i can't i need you guys to subscribe first just press the subscribe button guys it's just down there you don't miss out on any ultimate team content you'll get 6 p.m content first how to do uh, solutions quickly you know how to get objectives done so everything will be there let's get straight into it guys Four free free full variation let's go what we're going to be doing is balanced. Uh, we're going to drop the width to 40 uh, because we need to obviously... Look, it's an attacking formation and at the end of the day we need to keep a bit more compact, right? Because the problem with the 433 is that it's very, very wide. So by keeping it compact, we are allowing ourselves to succeed. 60 depth, meanwhile, is very, very important because what it allows you to do is just attack, guys. It's just get the ball back, you know, press up, press up, press up. That's what you need to do, guys. And you need to do them in your own bedroom as well, guys. Get those pecs, come on. Uh, build up play, guys. We're going to go fast build up and we're going to go direct passing. Direct passing because I keep explaining it video after video. Get the players in behind the back line and you get yourself in good positions to score meanwhile um meanwhile meanwhile fast build up that's the one allows you to pass quickly the 433 works so well because this transition speed is absolutely rapid and you want to make sure you make the most out of that transition speed by being rapid yourself make a fast build up and make yourself absolutely difficult to beat players in the box Seven guys, you know how we do. We have to have our seven people. I'm not messing around. Let's get the players in the box, get them involved. That's what we have to do. Corners are going to be on two and free kicks on one, as per usual. Now, your striker is going to be on stay central and that's it. Just let them stay central. Let them connect the plays between the cam and the wingers. Let them be the middle man between everything. The bridge, you could call it, guys. Meanwhile... Your right wingers and left wingers are going to be on. Stay wide, get in behind, get into box for cross. Um, pretty simplistic, really. You want them to stay wide because if they start cutting inside, you're going to create trouble for yourself. You want them to stay out wide and give you those options down the side, down the wing, especially going inside into the box. Getting in behind will ensure that they will get in behind further than the striker who's not on game behind, meaning that you can use this striker and this cam to supply the ball left and right. And then obviously, most importantly, get into box for cross as well most important things you can have it just allows you to obviously get these players at the back post and then they can score for you and that's one of the best ways of scoring at the moment in fifa both center mids are going to be on stay back cover center people like Nkunku who have attacking work rates will attack anyway petite most likely will push up at times anyway you'll probably see from gameplay stay back cover center is only there because the 433 4 variation super super attacking you don't want to be uh putting yourself in a very deadly position where these players are basically not staying back and everyone's pushing up you can't have that because i'll be six players and no one to defend basically in the midfield can't have that by the way the camp is staying balanced in case anyone wonders it is unbalanced um, left back, right back, just on stay back. Once again, make sure that the back is covered, uh, especially the two centre backs who will need your support at all times. So make sure the left back and right back are there uh, and they don't move around too much. Now, let's get into some gameplay. Here we are with the gameplay for the 4 3 3 4 variation. Um, what you guys will notice is, like I said, you'll be having a lot of players in those key, key positions in attack. Now, a, a lot of people ask me, Tom, don't you struggle defensively when you use such a formation? Uh, you can if you don't play it safely enough. Um, I kind of gave you guys the play instructions to be able to play it in a good way. I don't know why in, like, in the world he had Kimpembe up there. But you guys will notice that this will stretch out your opposition down the sides, allowing you to have more space in the middle. I mean, I think I've been saying the same thing since last FIFA, to be honest, in all my videos. Um, it's just something that works so well. I don't know why I have that player icon thing, man. Oh, come on, man. That's just not ideal to concede, is it? That player icon thing really put me off there um, as he celebrates with his butcher Gwenyo, which no one genuinely cares about. <laughs> I'm sure you didn't even know who butcher Gwenyo was till this FIFA came out. Or last FIFA, whichever FIFA. Here we go, Mbappe. Oh, here we go, Benyada. Ah, close. You're going to see a lot of bodies in the middle. And that's exactly what you need. Here we go, Mendy. Can you cut that off? Yes, you can. 
And that's what happens, really. They will be, they will be able to cut off because guess what? You have those players back, and um, you need to make sure you can maintain that shape in the back because if you don't, then trouble comes along like that. Butragonio goal. Here we get a good clean tackle on Butragonio this time. He doesn't get through. And Mbappe, look at how quick we transition there. That's the fast build-up for you guys. The transition speed is rapid. And then Green, oh, I should be going in with Bamba there, to be honest. I am pretty shocked it didn't go in. Um, we're going to try and try and play this to Petit, actually. Oh, Petit just decides to go behind him. And Kunku! Wow! <laughs> wow, we love those! That is an absolute mod. Oh, that it's literally released a Kraken, man. Seriously. Wow. Here we go, though. Ben Yedda. Counter. Ben Yedda, turn. Turn. We have Bamba in the box. 2 1. Bang. Players in the box, occupying the spaces where the opposition cannot get. I keep saying to you guys bang, forfeited. Forfeited. What else can I say, guys? Let's look at the formation he used. 4 triple 2. Let's go over. I understand that the first goal was the first goal. Let's quickly go over because I need to talk to you guys about uh, this goal here. We won't see the other goal, unfortunately, because of when it was. What I'm trying, I'm going to try and show you guys if I come back to the perfect camera, which I need for this. Where's the camera? There it is. Right, guys. So we have the camera here. What you'll notice is... So he's got his Cruyff here, and he's got his Butragonio there. The two CDA centre mids are not fully dropping back and standing with the centre backs, right? Um, that is probably going to be a big issue for a lot of people. They don't want it to be like that, if I can quickly highlight them for you guys. These two centre mids... Where are these centre mids? There they are. These two. Look, they're not standing next to Kimpembe and Marquinhos like most players would when they're staying back and covering centre. Instead, they are literally sitting outside watching. What happens? Look, if you don't drag them back, boom, goal. Because Kimpembe had to cover Cruyff, who was making that run. And then obviously I tried to cover with, uh, I think that's Mendy, but it didn't work. Now... It wouldn't happen otherwise. It really wouldn't. And let's have a look at this goal again. Because this goal is just worth having a look at 100 million times. I mean, let's have a look. And Kunku. <sighs> Straight to heaven, man. Straight to heaven and Kunku. Insane goal, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. Until next time. Peace.